And then, so what about this one? What's that going to be? A three. Three. Awesome. And so this is a four. This is a two. two. This is a five. Five. This is a, oh, no more five here. So four, two, four, and five. I feel like it's more fun when it's challenging. Should we try five by five now? So, five by five means there's five numbers now. What do you think? We can just start plugging in notes again and then try and make sense of stuff? Yeah? Okay. Let's start over here. It can be a two, three, or four. I mean, it can only be a two or a three. Or a three. Or what about a five? Or five. Yes. Wait, how, if this is a two, what goes in here? I mean, it can't be a two. It can't be a two. Okay. And, all right, what about this one then? Or actually, let's go ahead and fill out this one. What's this one going to be? A one or, no, it can't be a one. It can be a two. Mm-hmm. Can it be a three? Yeah, it can be a three. Okay, awesome. And it can't be the five, right? No. Okay, how about over here? It could be a three or a five. Yes. Awesome. And does that tell us or anything? It mm -hmm. could be a two. It could be a two? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'll put two in there. What does that mean for this one? It could be a one. Okay, this could a be two a two or a three. One, two, or three. Can it be a four? No. I mean, yes. How do you know? Because there's no other fours. Yeah, but also this number is smaller than this. And remember, you pick the biggest number in here and you write down everything smaller than that. So four is possible here. Yeah? Okay. What about over here? What's possible? <coughs> A one, two, or three. Two or three. Yes. But what about if this one was a one, then what does that mean for over here? Like, that one's not a one. This one can't be a one. Yes. Perfect. And now I think everything is good. Okay. Uh, how about it over here now? A four, five, a two, three, four, or five. Okay. I mean, no four. Two, three, and five? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Two, three, and five. Okay, but no three, so just two and, two and five. five. Awesome. And then that one can be a two, a, a one, and a three. Yes. And, okay. Actually, can we go over here first? What do you think? So this one just can't be a three, and it has to be a bigger number. It can be a five and a two. Yes. What about a four? And a four. Yes. Then that one can be a one. Yes. A two and a four. Two and a four, indeed. So no three. A two, four, and five. Two, four, and five. Awesome. A one, two, and four. What about three? Or three. Yes. Cool. And then this one. There's no numbers really stopping it from being anything, right? So that means it can be any number that can be bigger than another number. It's 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this one? 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4, except the 1 and the 3, so 2 one. and yeah. Two and 4. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now at least we have all the ones that are with the inequalities filled in. So let's take a look and see if there's anything we can tell. 
And look, what about in this first row? Do you see anything? How could this one be a 2? If this was a 2, then what would this be? That one can't be a 2. This one can't be a 2. Okay, so what does that mean now? That. What about this one? That has to be a 2 because there's no other 2? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's a two. Let me take out this one then. Okay, anything else you see? I think I see something. It's in this last row. There's, that's a one. This is a one, exactly. And I think I see something else. Tell me if you see it. Not seeing it yet. And this one? What does that one have to be? It has to be the one, right? Because there's no other ones over here? Yeah. Okay, awesome. And so I can take out this one. So does that help with anything? That one's a one. That one has to be a one. All right, it looks like that's kind of what we have so far. But there is something suspicious that I can see right here between these two. Do you see it? Like when I when I say something like that, what I want you to do is think about every single number in here and try and match it up with a number that's less than that and see if you can do that. So we have a four or a five, both of those numbers are less. If we look at the four over here, both of these, well, this wouldn't be able to be a four, right? But that's okay. We at least have one number that matches up to it. That's the most important thing. If this was a three, then what is, we have one number that matches. Yeah? Okay. But what if it's a two? We can't have a two. We can't have a two there. Awesome. Okay. So now, now it looks like we just got to fill stuff in. So over here, I just look at what's not possible. So one's not possible here, and a three's not possible. So any number other than one. Two, four, and five. And how about over here? Two, four, no. Yeah, two, four, and five. Two, four, and five. Cool. And then over here, a two isn't possible, and a one isn't possible. So three, three four, and five. Awesome. This one? Three, four, and five. Yes, but also a one? One, three, four, five, because there's nothing stopping this from being a one. Okay. And then over here? Three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Okay. This one can't be a one and can't be a one. So basically, two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, five. This one is once again the same thing. Two, three, four, five. And this one is two, three, four, five. Okay. So now, now we're looking at stuff again. See how we have four ones already? That means we should be able to tell where the last one is right away. It's going to be somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be right there. It is going to be right there. That's a one. Awesome. Okay, so now let's try and think. Hmm. Don't we have that same kind of situation over here? That one can't be a two. That one can't be a two, so, so it is it has a, to be a five. It's a solid five. So that means I can take out the five from here. Yeah? Okay, and here. And here too? Yeah. So that's a four. And that, that's a two. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me take out some of these twos. And take out the fours from here. Okay. That's looking good. Are you seeing anything? Yeah, me neither. But the, whenever I can't really see much, that's when I go to these inequalities and I check each one of them. Just like what we did just uh, earlier, you want to make sure that one thing matches up with something else. This one's still good. The 3 still has a 2, 
and so that's okay. What over here though? What do you think? Mm. And take away the three. Yes, from where? This one or this one? And that one. This one. Yeah. Well, if this was a three, then what would it be in there? And have to take away the three from that one. From that one. So that's a five. And then. So I can take away this five. And then what else does that tell me? This one's... That has, that has to be a three. Yes, awesome. I'll take away all of these threes. And... Hmm. We're almost there. This is a tricky one. Alright, looks like I might have to show you this one other trick really quick. Okay. So... This last trick that I'm going to show you today is the guessing part. It is okay to guess, but try and keep it only to the ones where you have a 50-50 choice, right? Okay, so over here, let's say we guess a 5. It doesn't matter which one you guess. And so this would be a 3, and then what changes does that make? This is now a 4. 4, and so the, there's no more 4 here and there's no more 4 here, and what about this 5? That changes things over here as well, right? This is not a 5, and this is not a 5. Does that help with anything? That one's a 5. How do you know? Oh, you mean this? It's a 5 because it's the only 5? Oh, okay, yes, that's true. And so this is a 2. And this is going to be a four. Four, and then this and is that one can't be a four or a five. So that one, I mean, a four or two. So that one has to be a five. Yes. And then over here, this one's going to be a two. A two. This and is going to be three. Mm-hmm. And then that's a two. And that's a four. And then a two. I mean a three. Okay, but the three's not going to work out here, right? Yes. Nope, because three is smaller than the four. So that tells us that we picked the wrong one. we got to go back all the way to over here. And instead of the five, oh, there we go. Instead of this five, now I have to change it to a three. This one. Is that cool? Okay, so it changes to a th And then, so what about this one? What's that going to be? A three. Three, awesome. And so this is a four, this is a two, this is a five. five. This is a, oh, no more five here. So four, two, four, and five. 